When a person presents to the emergency room with a suspected case of meningitis, we instantly begin our evaluation by ordering blood count, electrolytes, and blood culture. If the patient is stable, we will order a CT scan. But if they are rapidly declining, we urgently perform a lumbar puncture or spinal tap. This is when fluid is withdrawn from the spinal canal and sent for immediate analysis. If there is a high degree of suspicion that the patient has bacterial meningitis, we rush to administer intravenous antibiotics even before the test results are back. We initiate the treatment as soon as possible because minutes count if the patient truly has bacterial meningitis. If the spinal fluid and culture results show a viral meningitis, we can safely stop the antibiotics. Viral meningitis will resolve on its own over time. The CDC, Centers for Disease Control, advises that all people in close contact with the person who contracted meningococcal meningitis, such as those living in the same household, exposed classmates or roommates, and medical personnel who cared directly for the infected patient be treated with prophylactic antibiotics as soon as possible. Symptoms of meningitis can mimic a bad case of the flu, making it difficult to diagnose. So if you become unusually sick with a high fever and severe headache, call your doctor or go to the emergency room immediately. If you have meningitis, minutes can make the difference between life and death or severe disability.